Recreational mathematics is a term for mathematics carried out for recreation rather than as a strictly research and application-based professional activity, although it is not necessarily limited to being an endeavor for amateurs. It often involves mathematical puzzles and games. Many topics in this field require no knowledge of advanced mathematics, and recreational mathematics often appeals to children and untrained adults, inspiring their further study of the subject. Topics Some of the more well-known topics in recreational mathematics are magic squares, fractals, logic puzzles and mathematical chess problems. But this area of mathematics includes the aesthetics and culture of mathematics, peculiar or amusing stories and coincidences about mathematics, and the personal lives of mathematicians. Mathematical games Mathematical games are multiplayer games whose rules, strategies, and outcomes can be studied and explained using mathematics. The players of the game may not need to use explicit mathematics in order to play mathematical games. For example, Mancala is a mathematical game, because mathematicians can study it using combinatorial game theory. But no mathematics is necessary in order to play it. Mathematical puzzles Mathematical puzzles require mathematics in order to solve them. They have specific rules, as do multiplayer games, but mathematical puzzles don't usually involve competition between two or more players. Instead, in order to solve such a puzzle, the solver must find a solution that satisfies the given conditions. Logic puzzles are a common type of mathematical puzzle. Conway's Game of Life and Fractals are also considered mathematical puzzles, even though the solver only interacts with them by providing a set of initial conditions. As they often include or require game-like features or thinking, mathematical puzzles are sometimes also called mathematical games. Other activities are the curiosities and pastimes of non-trivial mathematical interest include patterns in juggling, the sometimes profound algorithmic and geometrical characteristics of origami, patterns and process in creating string figures such as cats' cradles, etc., publications. The journal Eureka published by the Mathematical Society of the University of Cambridge is one of the oldest publications in recreational mathematics. It has been published 60 times since 1939 and authors have included many famous mathematicians and scientists such as Martin Gardner, John Conway, Roger Penrose, Ian Stewart, Timothy Gowers, Stephen Hawking and Paul Dirac. The Journal of Recreational Mathematics was the largest publication on this topic from its founding in 1968 until 2014 when it ceased publication. Mathematical Games was the title of a long-running column on the subject by Martin Gardner in Scientific American. He inspired several generations of mathematicians and scientists through his interest in mathematical recreations. Mathematical Games was succeeded by Metamagical Themers, a similarly distinguished but shorter running column by Douglas Hofstarter, then by Mathematical Recreations, a column by Ian Stewart, and most recently Puzzling Adventures by Dennis Shasher. The Recreational Mathematics Magazine, published by the Ludus Association, is electronic and semi-annual, and focuses on results that provide amusing, witty but nonetheless original and scientifically profound mathematical nuggets. The issues are published in the exact moments of the equinox, in popular culture. In the episode titled 42 of the Doctor Who science fiction television series, the Doctor completes a sequence of happy primes. He then complains that schools no longer teach recreational mathematics. The curious incident of the dog in the night time, a book about a young boy with Asperger syndrome, discusses many mathematical games and puzzles. People, prominent practitioners and advocates of recreational mathematics have included 